Hi. Today, we're looking at the two main components that make up Ceph. These are the forwarding information base, or FIB, as well as the adjacency table. The FIB is a copy of the routing table, that is, routes and their next hop IP addresses. We can see the contents of the FIB when we type the command show IP Ceph. We can also search for a specific route within the table when we want to find something more, well, specific. The adjacency table, which is also known as the adjacency information base, contains information about directly connected next hops. So that is next hop IP addresses and the MAC addresses that they map to. That also includes an egress interface that it uses to reach that. The adjacency table is populated by ARP as well as any static entries if they exist. And we can see the contents of this table with the show adjacency command. So when a packet comes in, a Ceph lookup is performed. If there is no entry yet for this packet, this is called a glean adjacency, where the packet is punted to the CPU and the resulting information is then used to create a new Ceph entry. So I hope you've enjoyed learning about the differences between the forwarding information base and the adjacency table and how they work together to make Ceph.